In this video, we're going to take a quick look at working with fields and controls on your new form. I'm starting with a completely blank form so that you'll be able to see the, the way that elements layer onto the form. Now the building block for everything that you do is the container. All other elements can be placed inside containers and containers are the first level where you can start adding formatting and permission rules. Adding a container is as simple as dragging one onto the canvas. Right down here in the left panel under controls you'll see container. We'll just take it, drag it right into place. Um, if we click on the container itself you'll see that in the right panel we now get some options for adding columns, for setting permission rules, and for adding styles. Now let's add some fields from our list onto the form. All of the list's column fields are shown here in the upper left panel. To add them to a form, just take them and drag them into the container. Now if you change your mind about including a field, just select it and click the blue X that will remove it. It does go back into the available fields. You don't lose the ability to use that. It's just moved off of the form. If you change your mind again, you can put it back. Now let's look at some of the other controls that are available for the form. One of the most popular is tabs. And I'll just take that and drag that into the container. And you see that we have a tab one and a tab two built automatically. If we click on the tabs container, because tabs are in a container which is in the container for the form, you'll see that now we have controls for tabs here. We can add a new tab and we can rename the tabs that we have. Oops, excuse me. Just click it there, back it out, um, and type in whatever you want for your tab names. You can make these as sensible or nonsensical as you want. If you want to remove a tab, just click the little delete button or click right here and you can remove the entire uh, tab container as well. Um, so nothing is, nothing is permanent. You can move things, add things, change your mind, take them out. Now to add fields to a tab, just click onto the field and drag it into the container on the tab that you want it to be. So we'll put this one onto tab two. Um, once again, this is a layering, uh, a cumulative thing. You always put the fields inside containers because then in the container, you can set columns and other rules. It's easier to do it that way. Layer it up from the bottom. Now, Another thing, I'm going to just delete all of this and delete this as well. Another thing that is very popular to use is uh, accordion sections. Um, accordions expand when selected to reveal the fields they contain. So let's take an accordion and put it in here. And you've got tab one, tab two. See, if you click on that, it'll collapse it and then expand it. And then we can take our fields and drag them directly into here. We'll take this and drag this down there. And then once again, you can rename the tabs. You can add new tabs. But this is what your user will see when they first come. And we can even preview this. So we can open them close them. It's a very nice look and it could be very useful to you. So, we'll, oops, open those back up. Okay. Um, now there are a few other control elements that you uh, have available to you as well. Fragments are simply uh, text blocks. Uh, they're just bits of text. You can edit the content, go in. It's a rich text format, so you're able to uh, uh, add some uh, styling to that. Um, you can 
put it into columns if you or you can add the columns from the information you can add uh, f field information uh, right into there as well so uh, a very handy thing if you want to give your users some instructions or some additional information uh, this is a good way to do it another thing that you can add is a header a header is also a text block excuse me a text block um, but with the header you have different levels of hierarchy uh, predefined. So this is a level one header, this is a level two header, this is a level three header, which means that this is really useful to use for section headings on your form if you want to make your form uh, really look well organized. You can use this to great effect on the form. Buttons just add a control button. Uh, and it's typically a save button, but you'll be able to go in and change the level of that, change the type of that, and add rules and styling to it as you want. You can also add a button bar, which has save, cancel, edit, and close already pre-built and pre-programmed for you. So uh, this is a real useful tool to have. And the final thing that you can do is add an image. Now, images uh, do refer back to a URL. So if you want to use an image, it is a good idea to first add that image to your image library in your site. Uh, that means that you will have a URL that you'll be able to point to on that.